Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, Ken here today. I want to talk about probably one of the most important things I think you can do to improve your training, to get the most out of your training. Whatever that training is, be it martial or something else, but we're here to talk about the martial arts, so that's kind of the direction I'm going to go with this. If you are new, go ahead and introduce yourself in the comments, right? Let me know who you are. Let me know who's listening, checking this out, watching these videos. Um, if you've been here before and you haven't done that, do that. And regardless, like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell because a bunch of new videos coming out. Just getting this off the ground and want everybody to know when new stuff's coming. So if you like it, let me know what you like about it. If you don't like about it, let me know what you don't like about it. But either way, Kenfu TV starts right now. All right, so how do you improve your training? That's why we're here, right? We just want to continue to make progress. We want to continue moving. And I just got back from a really awesome class. So this week, my fiance and one of our instructors did the same person. My fiance is one of our instructors. Um, and she had this awesome idea because we always work rolls, we always work balls right before we're gonna do some throws and that kind of stuff. We never have enough time to go over it. We never have enough time to really get that foundational skill down. So she said, what if we just dedicated like a solid week to getting the foundation built? Because we got a bunch of new students, a bunch of new people trying it out, people that maybe have rolled before, people that maybe have never rolled before. So she said, that's an awesome idea. So that's what we're gonna do. So we did that, we're two days in, we've got, you know, the rest of this week to, to get going on that. And it's going really well. People are picking it up and I think that's a huge deal. So anyway, talking to one of the students after class and we were talking about some different ways that you can, can remember this stuff and how do you do this when you work on it for a while and haven't been able to come back to it, right? So this particular person had had an opportunity to train years ago uh, with some more, uh, with kind of law enforcement, some of that kind of stuff. And so time goes on. And, you know, you don't always get to do your training. You don't always keep it up. You don't always continue to work on it. And when you do that, you, you lose it. Not entirely. I think it's still in there. I think it comes back easier than people think it does. But but it's not there, right? It's not fresh in mind. It's not something that comes right back to you. You've got to find time. So we got to talking about that and we got to talking about writing it down. Let's get to the tip, the number one thing you can do to make your training better, uh, to get the most out of your training, get the most out of your instructor's time, to get the most out of the, the time that you're working with people, working with partners, working with other people in, in, the, in the school, in the dojo. How do you make that count the most? Write it down. Make notes and it's not just about the instructor, right? You know, I want people to write down stuff I say or things I teach them, sure. But you're working with other students, you're working with your friends, you're working with different people who have different experiences than you. And they're gonna tell you things, they're gonna give you ideas, they're gonna give you stuff that your instructor doesn't give you. Um, not because your instructor doesn't want to, but because your instructor is not that person, right? So my instructor was a lot bigger than me. So some of the best advice I got was from other people in class who were closer to my size. So that advice became really, really important. And this is something that I wish that I would have done more is actually just write this stuff down, make notes, take down the information that I've got so that I can reference it later. Now, here's what this isn't, right? Um, here's where it doesn't match. Reference is not memory. Reference is not training. Um, so I have people ask me all the time, like, hey, are there any videos of some of this stuff? You know, we do kata. I'm a big fan of kata. And I think that it has its place if you understand what that's for. If you want to know what I think that's for, let me know. Comments, right? Tell me something about kata or ask the question. And I'll see if I can make a video talking about that at some point. But there's certain things where you go, okay, how am I going to remember this, right? Is there a video I can watch? Is there something I want to go home and practice? Is there some videos I can get or some, some something written down that I can look at? You know, and my answer is always the same. Yeah, there's video. Whatever video of you make of yourself, you grab your phone, you film you, done. You know, you want to do something like that, that's perfect. But no, I'm not going to give you a video, right? It's not because I don't have them. I do. 
I record myself doing it. I've recorded stuff for reference. I've restored, recorded stuff for posterity. I've got videos of my instructors doing it, etc. But that's not the same, right? You need to do it. You need to record what you've done, what you've learned, what you understand of it. And you need to come back to it later. And you need to record it again. And when you record it again later, then you'll have the ability to compare your new knowledge, the things that you've picked up since then. You also get to compare the progress you've made and nothing replaces being able to actually see your progress. So same thing when it comes to written down, you know, I could give you a handbook or I could give you, hey, here's a description of exactly how to do this thing. But we do this thing that and I'm guilty of it. In fact, I even leverage a skill I use all the time. Um, and that's reference as a replacement for training or replacements for memory. Okay, I know I've got that written down. I know I have that video of that. So I don't need to work hard to remember it. I don't need to write it down. I don't need to do this stuff, right? And we do it. And if you're telling yourself you never do that, you gotta, you gotta get real with yourself and say, yeah, you totally do. At least somewhere along the way, you reference, ah, that exists. I know about it. I can reference it if I need to. If it has to do with your training, if it has to do with the progress you're trying to make, knowing that you can reference it is not the same as working the material. It's not the same as learning what you need to learn, practicing it, learning what you didn't know about it, right? You know, I can have a reference of a particular thing and say, oh yeah, I have that. But then if I don't have my instructor to work with and I can't, you know, so maybe this is years later and I go, oh, I want to watch that. And I never worked with my instructor. I never did it. So I never got to generate the questions I need to ask, the things I need to know that I don't know. Then what if later I'm checking out that reference and I don't have that resource? Who am I going to ask those questions to? Who am I going to say, well, why did you do that? You know, I see in the video you did this, this, or that. What if I can't ask that person that, right? I need to train it. I need to get with them and I need to do it myself so that I know what questions I have to ask. And then I need to ask those questions. Everybody benefits from questions. You know, one thing that I do just to kind of keep things going uh, is sometimes I ask questions I know the answer to. One, because maybe I think somebody else in the room is afraid to ask and they could use that answer, but they're afraid to raise their hand or, or put it out in the room. But two, sometimes I don't get the answer I think I'm going to get. So I think, ah, I know the answer to this question, you know, but I think it's good. Let's get people talking about it. Let's do it. And then I ask the question and then we get something completely different. And I go, well, I didn't think about that or that's not what I thought you were going to say. And then the conversation's even more dynamic because now I'm invested. Whoa, it's not what I expected. Let's talk about it. I need to understand this better because I thought you were going to say this and you didn't. So ask the questions, right? Then write them down. Write down what you learned. Write down the things that you pick up. You know, sometimes you can write down the question. Some later on when you're reading it and you read that question, you might have a different answer. I know that my answers to the questions over the years have definitely changed. You know, you learn something, you get a perspective on it. You learn something new, you have other life experiences, other things that are auxiliary to your training that come from somewhere else that give you a new perspective. And then when that happens, now when you answer that question, your answers are different. And it's important to revisit that stuff. That's what kind of re continues to build and continues to take you to a, to a deeper level of knowledge, right? We can, we can live up here and we can go and go and go, but if we're not doing this, if we're not digging down, then what do we truly know, right? They say to, to truly understand is to teach, right? You start teaching someone else, you have to understand it if you're gonna be able to explain it to them. You have to understand it if you're gonna be able to answer their questions. And the same thing goes just in general. And you've got to ask yourself those questions and you've got to not be afraid to ask yourself questions that you don't even know the answer to. So you can find the answer. That's why we're doing this. We don't have the answer. If we had the answers, we wouldn't be here. You know, if students already knew everything, they wouldn't come to me to learn something because they know it. So like it or not, you don't know everything. I don't know everything. We keep going forward. We keep learning the things we think are important. We keep finding what we think is the next thing I need to understand. And we keep gaining that deeper, deeper understanding every time. Write it down. 
reference is not the same because writing it down, the act of doing it, records it in your memory in a completely different way. And if I had one thing that I wish that I had done, this is it. I wish I would have written things down more. I don't have those notes from that because I thought, oh, I, I got this and I've got these videos and I've got this stuff. I look back at that and it's not worth what I thought it was. So do it for yourself. Even if you write it down, I was talking to some people that they go, you know, if I write this down, even if it's chicken scratch and I can't understand it and I won't be able to reference it later, it doesn't matter because writing it down helped get it in here. That's worth it. You could lose the journal, who cares? If it helps you get that. Now, if you keep the journal, right? The other thing is posterity. Now you can take that journal. You know, what if one of your students ends up with that? Or one of your, you know, one of your kids or something like that? You know, that thing can also become valuable to someone else. One of the most treasured things I have from one of my instructors is his notebook from when he was training. And I look at it every time and wish that I had done something like that. So get a journal. There's some pretty cool ones. I'm gonna link my new favorite one down below, so definitely check it out. Uh, super rad journal that will help. In fact, it's helping me make these videos. So, uh, but it's also helping my training. But write things down. Share your best tip for how you increase your training in the comments, and let's talk about it. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. In the meantime, hit that subscribe, hit those likes, do those shares, all that stuff that YouTube people do on YouTube and let people know if you like what's going on let people know let me know and for now that's all I got so adios